Hello and welcome to Crazy Danish Hacker. Today we're going to install the Blade RF into Windows. First we'll browse to the Nuan website and for Windows you can install them by just downloading the latest executable and then you can just install it pretty much. There's also a guide which guides you through the process, but it's really, really easy for Windows. There's that much to say. So once you've installed it on Windows, you can try and use SDR Sharp. And in this case, we may want to try and use it for Windows. So in this case, we want the this UL, or not UL, this DLL. So we will just copy it from release and we will just download it and we will also get the DLL files from libblade rf and copy this line so we'll just download this file and we will download this DLL and this DLL. I think that's all of them. You may also need the the FPGA. So we will also get the FPGA. And let's see, we need to download this file. I think we already, we, oh no, we didn't. That was the other DLL. And we already got this. So here are the files that we need. And move them into this directory. And next we will need to enter this into the configuration file. So we will just open a new text editor. And that was the wrong file. It is frontends.xml and then we will add it here and then we should be good to go because I've already installed Blade RF on my computer and that's all really you need so we will just see that it's present and then we will click configure we will just check that it's here. Now, if we just take one step back, and that is, you may have to use the set a dig program. So you may have to use this program when you try to use it. So even though it's detected as Blade RF, but if if it's not detected as Blade RF, just install the Win USB driver just like you did for the RTL SDR. So we will just run SDR Sharp and can check a look at the device settings. So this is fine. That's fine. That's standard. I've tried the other settings, but this is the default and that's what works best. Fine. That's fine. That's only if you have the add-ons. Here you will need to load the FPGA So we can just load it from here because I've already downloaded it. But you can also get you can also download or not download, you can also get it from this directory where we copy and pasted it into. So it's also present here. So we'll just use it from this folder instead. Because if you don't have an FPGA loaded and you haven't flashed it to also load an FPGA, then you can't use it. So you need to either flash it permanently or you can load it each time like I'm doing it. 
So just click close and let's just mute this and click play. And scroll to 950 megahertz. So you can see it's picking up GSM fairly well. The antennas that I got are not the best. Like they are they are adequate, but they are not really super good for picking up the GSM from far away. Even if we add the gain a bit, now it's important that you play with the gain sometimes because you can get a lot better signals and you want to use L LNA gain first because that's the low noise amplifier. So that will, that will add less noise when you amplify the receiving signal. That may sound like gibberish to engineers, but that's how it makes sense to me. So we can also adjust these settings, but these settings will add a lot more noise to the signal, like to, to the bass noise. You can see here that it generally increases a lot. So generally speaking, depending on the uh, your antenna, you may not get much more out of it if you're not adjusting these settings here as well. So you may have to adjust this a bit and then try again. And then adjust this a bit maybe. And then adjust the contrast. Then maybe adjust this again. So it takes a little bit of work to play with because you may not get a super strong signal and if you over amplify the signal then you may get some weird noise so in some cases it's better to turn down the amplification a bit down here and then work with this for example and you can also zoom into the signal so this is like 30 megahertz or 930 960 well it's a bit more so we can also zoom in and take a look at the downstream channel here that's a gsm downlink so that's pretty cool just take stop so that's pretty much how you install it on windows next we will install it in linux